Good evening, Warren Hills, and welcome to the scholarship and awards presentation for the class of 2020. Each year, our community comes together to support our students as they go on to create their life after Warren Hills. Their monetary support and the recognition that they give to our students is just one example of how we are a strong community. I'd like to thank all of our community organizations and sponsors for awarding the scholarships that you will hear tonight. And I'd also like to thank those who've contributed with video messages to our graduates. Please enjoy the virtual 2020 Senior Awards and Scholarship presentation. We'll start this evening off with a singing of our national anthem by our choir students under the direction of Lauren Voigt. Oh, say can you see So Davison Award, Adam Stenick, the A. Lachlan Foundation Scholarship, Kayla Ades, our 2020 Andrew Engbord Memorial Scholarship recipient. Hi there, this message is for Phoebe Sessler. Um, hi Phoebe, my name is Carol and this is my friend Jen. Hi. And we graduated from Warren Hills in 1987 along with our friend Chrissy and we're very happy to tell you that you have been selected as the 2020 recipient of the Chrissy Hartman Memorial Scholarship. Um, before we tell you a little bit about Chrissy, we just want to say to you and all your classmates, congratulations on graduating in what are certainly the most bizarre circumstances <laughs> we could ever imagine um, outside perhaps a zombie apocalypse or something. I don't know. <laughs> this award is in memory of our friend Chrissy, who passed away in 2004. After she passed, several of her friends from Warren Hills got together and decided to start the scholarship in her memory. Chrissy was friends with a lot of different people from a lot of different circles, but she was the common bond that brought our group together. She was kind and open-hearted and saw to the core of people and could build bridges and make connections with people across perceived social boundaries. One of the best analogies describing Chrissy was in the eulogy given by her husband, Ken. He said that while as a child, he began collecting Chris baseball cards, Chris began collecting friends and she never stopped. She treasured friendships, made them a priority, and led her life as an example of how to be a good friend. Even after we graduated, Chris was not only great at staying in touch, but she made sure that we all stay connected with each other. In fact, um, fun fact, members of the class of 87 turned 50 last year, and a few of us uh, decided to take a 50th birthday party, uh, birthday trip together, um, and we decided we wanted to bring Chris with us. So we made these little heart sticks with pictures of Chrissy. This one is um, of her in her cap and gown, as you can see. 
Jersey. I didn't need to tell you that. And this is um, a trip that Chris and I took to Spruce Run one weekend day. Not a school day. We no, absolutely did not do that. Not skip that day at all. We did not. We did not. That was a totally legit trip. And uh, this one is really dating, going way back. Um, this is in middle school. This was a Halloween party that Chris and I went to as ghosts. Um, we had our little, we had a Cabbage Patch doll. Anyone know what that is? Um, in a pillowcase. We didn't still keep the Cabbage Patch doll. We put holes in Anyway, you get it. Um, but yeah, this was a fun Halloween party. I think this was at your house, Jen. It was. I recognized the wood paneling of my rec room. <laughs> so this was great. We got to take her with us on our adventures. Oh, Jen, you have one from the show. I do have no, one. You, you do. <laughs> I've got one. This is um, from Chrissy's uh, 16th birthday party. Um, we're actually, uh, a whole bunch of us are in a pyramid and Chris <laughs> is at the bottom of the period, pyramid, um, basically the center of it all because that's exactly where she always was. I think I took that picture. I wasn't in the pyramid because I <laughs> took that picture. Um, I think Lisa was in that pyramid and um, Kathy and I'm trying to think who else there was. Um, oh, someone from Hackettstown Town High. High School. That's how that's how good Chrissy was. She transcended <laughs> the friend boundaries, school rivalries meant nothing to her. And um, yeah, so that Hackettstown High School girl, you know who you are. <laughs> and Phoebe, we wanted to show you these because in the last line of your essay, you wrote, the one thing I can say with confidence is that my best friend will be in my life forever. Well, we just want to let you know that we agree wholeheartedly and we're sort of living proof of that. Mm -hmm. So Phoebe, thanks so much for sharing the story of your friendship with us. And we hope that your friendships continue to strengthen and sustain you uh, as ours have um, over these many years. So we wish you all the best and congratulations. Congratulations. Sophie Lynn Schaefer, the Darren Scott Whipple Memorial Scholarship. Jamie Rice, the Dustin Maranca Memorial Scholarship. And we have two recipients of the Frank A. Robinson Memorial Scholarship, Alan Freeman and Kevin Nichols. Olivia Flynn, the Frederick Clean Memorial Scholarship. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. I am Patrolman Michael Sitter of the Mansfield Township Police Department. I am also the president of the PVA Local Number 369. I want to congratulate the class of 2020. I know it has been a very tough couple of months, but it does not take away what you have accomplished. I am making this video to announce the recipient of the 2020 PVA Local Number 369 scholarship. For the last five years, I have personally read all the essays that are submitted and each year. It gets harder and harder to choose just one. After careful consideration, I am pleased to announce the recipient of the 2020 PVA Local Number 369 Scholarship goes to Kayla McLagan. Congratulations on the next chapter of your life. Three recipients of the Harvey S. Mauder Memorial Scholarship, and they are Eric Hardy, Daniel Kahn, and Michael Morgan. Sophia Sanessi is the Jacqueline Clean Memorial Scholarship recipient. The John Lee Memorial Scholarship goes to Adam Stenick. We have two Qantas Club recipients. It's Anna Izeppi and Elizabeth Finnegan. The Mark Modred Scholarship and the Mary T. Harley Scholarship goes to Cassandra Yenos. Good evening, Warren Hills Regional High School, and thank you for the opportunity to speak on behalf of the Oxford Central PTA. My name is Bob Magnuson, and I am the Chief School Administrator of the Oxford Central School. This year, I have the very good fortune to announce the winners of the annual Oxford Central School PTA scholarships, which are given out each year to two very deserving students who attended the Oxford Central School back in the day. This year, 2020, the Oxford Central School PTA would like to award two scholarships, one to Kayla Norton and the second to Kayla Weldon. Thank you and congratulations to both Kayla and Kayla. Have a good night, folks. Thank you and congratulations to everyone in the Warren Hills Regional High School graduating class of 2020 and best of luck in your future.
Marissa Dillon, our 2020 Susan Line Memorial Scholarship recipient. Hi, good evening, folks. Uh, my name is Josh DeVoe, I'm the Assistant Chief of the Washington Borough Fire Department. Uh, tonight, I'm here to announce the winners of our two scholarships that we give out. Uh, the first scholarship is the Brian Heinrich Memorial Scholarship. Uh, Brian Heinrich was a fireman with the Washington Borough Fire Department uh, who unfortunately paid the ultimate sacrifice uh, May 29th, 1980 uh, at a fire in downtown Washington. Uh, besides his love for his family and the fire department, Brian was an avid tradesman. Um, so we developed a scholarship uh, to go to a Warren Hills graduate every year uh, who was going into some type of a trade field. Uh, I'm proud to announce that uh, this year's winner is Rachel Bach. I wish her all the best in her future endeavors. Our second scholarship uh, is for the Washington Borough Fire Department uh, membership. Uh, it's open to a child, grandchild, sibling, active member uh, to be awarded. Uh, this year's winner uh, is a brother who's been with our department for the last five years, started as a junior member, uh, and risen up the ranks into a senior member at this time. Uh, and this year's winner for the, the family scholarship is Elise Strenin. Uh, congratulations to you as well, and good luck with your future endeavors. Warren Hills, class of 2020, first of all, a huge congratulations to all of you. Um, this has always uh, traditionally been one of my favorite nights to spend with you, not only to see former students, but to, um, to congratulate you and wish you well on your way as you continue on your journey. Um, I've had the privilege for the past number of years to present um, on behalf of the teachers of the Washington Borough Schools to, prevent, to present the Washington Borough Teachers Memorial Scholarships. Um, again, usually what we look for um, in our recipients um, are students who, first of all, went to, attended the, the borough schools um, and who plan to achieve a, um, or, or plan to pursue a, um, the education, one of the education or field related to education or an education field. Um, this year is certainly a little different than anything we've ever expected. Um, I certainly thought, given that this will be the last year that I will be presenting these scholarships um, due to the decision I've made to retire, um, I certainly thought and expected to be with you tonight to, uh, to personally congratulate you. We have, um, on behalf of the committee, um, we have selected three recipients this year. Um, all of them, all of the, um, all the applicants, um, just as um, deserving as the next. But unfortunately, we did have to narrow things down. Um, all of the applicants, near and dear to my heart, having gone through um, sixth grade here, um, but our three recipients this year. Uh, first, Jessica Howley. Our second recipient, Kevin Nichols. And our third recipient, Layla Nobolakovic. And Layla, I hope I did that okay. I wish all of you the very best. I hope you'll continue um, on the journey that you've already set yourselves on. Always be your best, do your best, and I wish you nothing but the best. Congratulations to all of you. Kayla Ades, our 2020 Washington Borough Emergency Squad A. Fletcher Wright Scholarship recipient. Kevin Nichols, our 2020 Washington Rotary Sin Baron Scholarship recipient. Phoebe Sessler is the 2020 Washington Rotary Dr. Frank Bartolini Scholarship recipient. Greetings. My name is Sam Knutson. I'm Kelly Kreis. And we're with the Washington Township Panthers. Every year, the Washington Township Panthers donate two scholarships to a former football player and a former cheerleader. Cal, who are this year's winners? The cheerleader is Skylar Warren, and the football player is Jacob Smith. Congratulations. For Washington Women's Club at Mary LaRue Scholarship recipients, and they are Sophia Dorman, Ashley Knorr, Kevin Nichols, and Adam 
Stenick. Hi, seniors. My name is Megan, and this is Calvin Andrew, who was named after my brother, Andrew. Andrew passed away suddenly from an unknown heart condition when he was only 14 years old. For the last 13 years, my family has given a scholarship in memory of him. I wish we were celebrating all of you in person. It's a wild world we're living in right now. From this, we can learn to be strong and resilient, two qualities that Andrew completely embodied. My brother Andrew was one of the funniest, silliest, and most annoying people I've ever met in my life. He'd do anything for a good laugh and made everyone he was with feel like they were his best friend. He had a positive attitude and could light up any room. He was an inspiration in so many ways, especially right now when it can be so difficult to stay positive. My family and I look for a person who embodies some of Andrew's amazing qualities that we miss so much. This year, we selected two people who we are certain will do great things in life and carry on Andrew's spirit through their future endeavors. This year's Andrew Sean Cries Memorial Scholarship goes to Julia Bertoldi and Paulina Georgiusis. I know this isn't what any of us expected, but I know you will be resilient and do great things. Congratulations. Good evening. First, I would like to congratulate all of the members in the class of 2020 for their great accomplishments and I wish them great success as they move beyond Warren Hills. Tonight is my honor and privilege to present the Evan Murray Scholarship Award. As many of you know, Evan was a valued member of our school community, an excellent academic student, very involved in our co and extracurricular activities, and always visible at community events. Unfortunately, we lost Evan suddenly in 2015 and this scholarship was created in his name to go to a student who exemplified the characteristics and traits that Evan brought to Warren Hills High School. It is my privilege to present the Evan Murray Award to Jake Smith. Ivan Potabed is a Franklin Township PTA Joe Dam Scholarship. Madeline Brown, Harriet and Wilson Rush Memorial Scholarship. We have four recipients of the Mansfield Cowboy Parents Association Scholarship, and they are Justin Coombs, Ashley Knorr, Heather Laffin, and Brooke Motzer. Aliyah Khan is the 2020 Mansfield Masonic Lodge Number 36 Scholarship recipient. Hello, and congratulations to the Warren Hills graduating class of 2020. I know we'd all rather be together, but I feel privileged to speak with you in this manner. I'm Carol Feller from Mansfield Township, and I worked in the elementary school office for 36 years. When I retired in 2003, the Mansfield PTA honored me by naming one of their scholarships in my name. When Dr. Carol Burns, longtime superintendent of the school, retired, the PTA again named a scholarship in her name. And it is my privilege to announce those scholarship recipients at this time. The Dr. Carol Burns Scholarship is awarded to Caitlin Marsh. And the Carol Feller Scholarship is awarded to Jer Jordan Hytayan. Again, our congratulations to these two recipients and to the graduating class of 2020. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and scholarship recipients. I'm Chip Kastner, and I'm here to proudly present the Robin Giorlando 8th Annual Memorial Scholarship. Our dear friend Robin passed away in 2013, and I happily and proudly have given away 77 scholarships in her memory since then. And this year, we're adding 10 more awesome seniors to the list. Each of my recipients will receive a personal letter from me because I actually know them for being their substitute in school and for being their voice at athletic contests. They'll also receive a share of Coke with Mr. Kastner for class of 2020. And of course, each winner will also receive a check for them to spend any way they wish to improve their lives. Being awarded this honor means you possess the qualities that were most important to Robin and me. You exemplify integrity. You are a kind, caring, respectful member of the Warren Hills community. And it's been my honor and privilege getting to know you for the past four years. It is with great pride that I select you to receive this award to aid in your future endeavors. 
Congratulations and may all the best in life be yours. This year's 2020 Robin G. Orlando Memorial Scholarship winners are Sophia Arana, Samantha Dugan, Kate Fenner, Matthew Fitzsimmons, Alan Freeman, Paulina Gorguchos, Nicholas Gorat, Alexandra Lino, Cullen Tiger, and Nene Uoma. Once again, congratulations to all 10 of you and to all of our awesome seniors that are being honored here today. Love you guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, and as always, go streaks. Lorelai Dalwood is the 2020 Robert Mayer Scholarship recipient. The Clifford Platt Memorial Fine Arts Scholarship recipient is Emma Caven. Julie Ruskin, 2020 Tilken Scholarship. This year, Warren Hills Robotics Association is pleased to present two scholarships. Both of our scholarship recipients gave valuable time and energy to Team 219 all four years of their high school career, and both will leave a memorable legacy of contributions to the Warren Hills Robotics Program. Our first award winner was a member of the drive team for three years and worked his way up to co-driver. When it became apparent that team captains would be a beneficial tool for strengthening team leadership, this student helped develop the program and went on to serve as mechanical captain. He has also served as camp counselor for the robotics summer camp. And so it is my delight to announce Kevin Nichols as one of the 2020 Warren Hills Robotics Association scholarship winners. Our next Warren Hills Robotics Association scholarship recipient served the team as safety captain and electrical captain. She provided branding and marketing skills by creating logos and designs, which were then transferred to apparel, the tool cart, and even one of the robots. The student was also a mentor for the Warren Hills Middle School first Lego League team, which just started this year. It is my pleasure to announce Novani Mangru as a Warren Hills Robotics Association scholarship winner for 2020. Special message from the Warren Hills Sports Association. The Warren Hills Sports Association likes to recognize student athletes for all their hard work and achievement at Warren Hills. This year was a year amongst any other. It was a struggle for most, but we can only help you hope you stayed healthy and safe. I would like to thank our scholarship committee for all their help with the scholarships this year. This year, the group felt that it was best to honor all six athletes who applied. I'm very proud to present the Warren Hills Sports Association scholarships to Kate Fenner, Paulina Gruguchos, Heather Laffin, Brooke Motzer, Sophia Lynn Schaefer, and Adam Stenick. Each year, the Warren Hills Marching Band Boosters provide two $1,000 scholarships to seniors who have shown outstanding leadership and contributions to the success of the Marching Band Program. On behalf of the Band Boosters and the 2020 Scholarship Committee, it is my privilege to announce the recipients of this year's scholarship awards. Joyce Lynn, and Alicia Stinger. Congratulations, and we wish you continued success as you pursue your education beyond Warren Hills. Good evening. My name is Christopher Canavo, and on behalf of Warren County Dental Center, it is my pleasure to announce that the 2020 winners of the Warren Hills Wrestling Club Scholarship in memory of Ryan Storm, John Knutson, and Paul Gallagher, sponsored by Warren County Dental Center, is going to be presented to two young men who have competed with resilience and tenacity for both the Washington Y and Warren Hills wrestling programs. Their mental and physical toughness, coupled with their dedication and loyalty to their teammates, are all essential characteristics for ensuring future success. Congratulations, Gregory Slivka and Logan Nauda. Go Streaks. Hi, my name is Karen Graff, and I have two scholarships to present on behalf of the Warren Hills PTSA 
and the family of Robert G. Shaw. We are awarding the Robert G. Shaw Memorial Scholarship for Teaching to Caitlin Marsh and the Robert G. Shaw Memorial Scholarship to Anna Izeppi. Congratulations to all the seniors and best wishes for much happiness and success in your future. We have two Washington Borough PTO scholarship recipients and those are Jessica Howley and Kevin Nichols. Hello, my name is Jade White, president of the Washington Mansfield Outlaws and representing the scholarship selection committee of the former Washington Redskins Football and Cheer Association. 2020 has offered unprecedented challenges for our graduates. Therefore, we are proud to extend our support to even more program alums this year, marking 23 consecutive years of awarding scholarships. To announce this year's recipients are 2019 scholarship winners, Pete Nichols and Zach Hamilton. As a previous scholarship recipient, it is my honor to present this year's awards. Due to the unprecedented events facing this year's seniors, the Redskins Alumni Association will be awarding four scholarships to the class of 2020. This brings the total number of scholarships awarded by the Redskins Alumni Association to 63. The Redskins Alumni Association is very proud of all our scholarship recipients and wish them continued success in the future. This year's recipients are Jessica Howley and Kayla Weldon. Congratulations. Are Will Salmon and Nick Gorath. Good evening. On behalf of the Washington Township Volunteer Fire Department, it is my pleasure to present our 2020 scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to a deserving student considering the student's honors, awards, academic achievements, extracurricular activities, and community involvement. The student should also be commended for the inspirational essay written on a topic that is an integral aspect of the fire service. This year's topic was enthusiasm. Without further ado, the winner of the 2020 Washington Township Volunteer Fire Department Scholarship is Panahota Gorguchos. Congratulations and good luck in college. We have two Washington Township PTA scholarship recipients and they are Kate Fenner and Paulina Gorguchos. Paulina is also our WTY John Salicito Scholarship recipient for 2020. We have three FFA alumni scholarships. They are Amanda Burdett, Sarah Chaplin, and Elizabeth Whelan. Thank you, Mr. Kavkak. Thank you, Mr. Jones, for this opportunity. My name is Bob Magnuson, and I'm the Chief School Administrator of the Oxford Township School District. And it is my pleasure annually to present the winner of the Oxford Lions Club DHL Scholarship. This year, for the class of 2020, the winner is Ms. Julie Ruskin. Congratulations to Julie for her awesome application process, and good luck at Ryder University. And of course, good luck to everyone in the class of 2020. Thank you for this opportunity, and enjoy the rest of your presentation. Good evening. My name is Paul Rinaldi, and I'm the president of Warren County Council of PTAs. First, I'd like to congratulate all the seniors from Warren Hills tonight. I know that this was a very trying and unexpected end to your year. I know you have many things planned that you will miss, but hopefully the future will hold much better things for you. Each year, the Warren County PTA gives out three scholarship awards. Two of those scholarships are being presented to Warren Hill seniors this year. The first one is the Warren County PTA Betty Trauger Scholarship. It's being presented to Jordan Hytayan. Congratulations, Jordan. The second is the Warren County PTA Paul Rinaldi Scholarship. It's being presented to Elizabeth Finnegan. Both of these scholarships are in the amount of $500. Warren County PTA also gives out a citizenship award each year pre based on the following character traits. Trustworthiness, respect, fairness, caring, responsibility, and community spirit. This year, the 
Citizenship Award is being presented to Elizabeth Finnegan. Congratulations, Elizabeth. Thank you. This year's Striving Streak Award goes to Sierra O'Hagan. Sierra O'Hagan is our Striving Streak. She had great accomplishments in the girls' tennis program. Being a student athlete at Warren Hills is exactly what Sierra has done. Sierra is our Striving Streak student athlete at Warren Hills. Sierra, Warren Hills wishes you the best, and we can't wait to see what you do in your future. Once a streak, always a streak. This year's Triathlete Award winner is Logan Wilkinson. Logan played in football in the fall, boys basketball in the winter, and boys lacrosse in the spring. We wish Logan the best in his future. Once a blue streak, always a blue streak. Our 2020 New Jersey School Buildings and Grounds Association Scholarship recipient is Kelly Knowles. And the Jody Brill Award goes to Will Salmon. Each year I have the honor and privilege to award one scholarship to a deserving senior who is an active member both in our school community and their home community. This year's Principal Scholarship is awarded to Brooke Motzer. Isabella Heisen is the 2020 ShopRite Personality Scholarship recipient. And Abigail Wall is the 2020 ShopRite Community Service Scholarship recipient. This, year, this year's Leader by Choice Award in honor of Evan Murray from the Friend of the Blue Street is Austin Dominic. Congratulations and best wishes in your future. Good evening, everyone. My name is Mary Ann McKinney. I'm the journalism teacher and newspaper advisor at Warren Hills Regional High School. And I am very pleased and privileged to present five awards to five of our editors for excellence in journalism. Our first recipient is Aiden McHenry. Aiden is one of our editor-in-chiefs. He's been with the journalism program for three years. He's written a lot of sports pieces as well as feature articles. And he's also been a great help with the website and all things technical. Um, Aiden will be attending Howard University School of Business where he will be majoring in management with a minor in sports administration. Our next recipient is also an editor-in-chief, Alia Khan. Alia is also a third-year journalism student. Alia has contributed to The Streak and our online news site, primarily with opinion and feature pieces. Um, Alia was always willing to step up and write things that other people couldn't cover. And she's been an awesome assistant throughout the year. She will be attending Raritan Valley Community College Honors Program, where she'll be majoring in pre-med and pre-pharmaceutical. And our next recipient is Phoebe Sessler, also an editor-in-chief. We had a triumvirate this year. Um, Phoebe is a second year journalism student, but I count her as a third year journalism student because even as a sophomore, she did a few pieces for us as a guest writer. Um, Phoebe's strength is also feature writing and opinion writing. Um, Phoebe's been an awesome contributor for all three years, as I said. She was also the write-off contest winner for the Garden State Scholastic Press Association contest in October. And she will be going to Syracuse University majoring in film design. Our next recipient is Sophia Senesi. Sophia Senesi has been a second year student this year. And most importantly, she's been our arts and entertainment editor. 
Sophia did a really awesome job this year of covering all things arts and entertainment, the band, the choir, fine arts, film, and also movie reviews. So Sophia has been an awesome contributor and her, she will be going to Centenary University majoring in creative writing. And last but not least is Alicia Stangler and she has been our copy editor. Um, by Alicia's own admission, she is a serial perfectionist and I've really appreciated that in her because she reads the final, final, final copies, making sure that everything is grammatically correct, the periods go where they're supposed to go, the commas go or where they don't go. I'm not even so sure anymore about the rules, but Alicia does. Um, Alicia is also a second year student and she will be going to Juniata College, majoring in environmental science. And I just want to say, this year in particular has been a wonderful experience working with these students. They stepped up in huge ways that I can't even talk about because um, I'll start crying. But they really, really stepped up in getting our online edition out right after the coronavirus closing. And I would like to thank them from the bottom of my heart, as well as their parents. Thank you so much for raising such nice young adults. Best of luck to the entire class of 2020. Miss you all. Hope to see you in a live graduation. Love you. The 2020 Greg Rotgen Scholarship goes to Amanda Burdett and Jerry Kane. Hannah Malisi is the 2020 Kathleen A. Smith Scholarship recipient. Hello, Warren Hills community, and congratulations and best wishes to the class of 2020. There are two band awards that our school presents each year that I would like to announce the recipients of this evening. They are the Louis Armstrong Jazz Award and the John Philip Sousa Band Award. Each high school across the country may present one of each of these awards each year. The Louis Armstrong Jazz Award is awarded to an outstanding jazz musician senior, someone who has demonstrated dedication to the jazz program over the years and exceptional talent and creativity throughout their time in high school. This year, the Louis Armstrong Award goes to Cody Hopkins. The John Philip Sousa Band Award is presented to the outstanding senior band member, someone who has demonstrated excellent musicianship combined with outstanding dedication to all aspects of the band program throughout their time in high school. This year, the John Philip Sousa Band Award goes to Phoenix Doherty. Congratulations, Phoenix and Cody. So thank you for joining us this evening. Thank you to all of our community members who have made this a reality for our students. And thank you to all the parents for supporting their students along the way. Class of 2020, you're going to go on to do great things, and this is just a minor setback for you. Tonight, we celebrated everything that you've done here at Warren Hills and in your community, and we can't wait to see what the future holds for you. Have a great evening, everyone.